So it's time to update your profile. From the Geonodea platform page, go down to the bottom left-hand side and click on Profile. Now here's where you're able to tell just how well you've been mapping. So you're able to see the area that you've mapped in total, how many projects you've created, how many uploads you've done, if you've got any private data sets, and if you've got any downloads as well, and particularly if you're running out of those if you're on a subscription plan. You can change your profile picture to an avatar or a picture of yourself and also come across to change your username or pronouns here as well. The additional information here is really helpful for other people to connect with you. So first of all, if you'd like to edit any of the information with your biography, your institution, how you contribute to the Geonodea community, either as a collector or data analyzer, and any social media links, you can pop them on right in here. This institutional information will be automatically populated into the institution of a data upload. You can always change it, but this is what the default will be when you upload your data sets. Now, importantly down here, if you would like to connect with someone in the Geonodea community to have a chat with them and learn more about science and flying drones, anything like that, and generally have a good chit chat, with someone in the community, that's a good place to tick the box there and click on save. And you'll then see that we've got this information down the bottom. That sends us a message to know to pair you up with someone in the community. If you need to change your password, you can do so up here. Now, if you wanna check out what your public profile looks like, because obviously this is just what we see in behind the scenes, just click on public profile and you'll see all that information there. So this is what you would share with somebody else if you would like them to check out the data sets that you've been capturing. They can view your full profile and obviously see all the data points that you've got on the map as well.